Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Eric. Elmer, Mario. Hi. Hello, Jose. Rosie. Hello. How are you? Hey, hello, everybody. I miss you all. Hello. All right. Very good. <laughs> nice. Nice, everybody. Well, some people are still coming in. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rocio. And now I see you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, Anna. Hi. Good evening. All right. Okay. And Jose is connecting his. I'm home. excited to start another class today. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Ale. We're just gonna wait for the rest of the team to come in. All right. Very good. So, Natalie, how was your day? Did you do today, or not anymore? Did you clean uh, enough yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't finish yesterday. I continued today. <laughs> okay. So I was very busy too. <laughs> yeah. All right. I see. Okay. Very nice. Hi, Eric. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How was your day today? Um, not good. Why? Because, because I am a little sick. Oh, my goodness. Be careful, okay? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Drink lots of water. All right. And Rocio, how was your day? Rocio, Rocio. All right. Yeah, she's around. All right. Very good. Ah, Mario Cortez. Hi. Very busy. All right. Good evening. All right. All right. Okay, Rocio. Very nice. Good. Good for you. All right, Mario. So what happened yesterday? Nos abandonó ayer. Father's Day. Y Ale también. Yeah. Father's Day. Father's Day. So, yeah. yeah, we're celebrating. Yeah, we're celebrating. Oh my goodness, we were working pepper. hard here and you were celebrating. That's not nice. <laughs> All right, no, I'm kidding. All right, yeah, I figured many people were not going to join in the class, but most of them were here. All right, Anita, how was your day today, Anna? Everything okay? Your day was okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, very, very good. Well. Nice. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so today we're going to finish up section four, okay? So uh, that's what we have in store for you, okay? So let's go. I'm going to show you right now a part of the a video from the platform. Hi, Herbert. Herbert. Dios mío, que se nos había hecho. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you a part of the video from the platform, and then I'm going to walk you through the same topic, explain differently in a PowerPoint, okay? So let's go right now watch a part of the uh, video that it's on the platform all right guys so i'm gonna share the sound uh so you can listen to it okay and then we'll talk about it so please pay attention defining relative clauses are used to identify people a dialect coach is a language specialist she works with actors on their accents a dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved. Uh, all right. Okay. So here we have, that's the topic that we have for you, for you guys today. Hi, Alexia. Hi, Elizabeth. Who else? Florcita. Okay. 
So we're talking about defining and Walter, we're talking about defining and non-defining relative clauses, okay? We have seen this before in a way. Uh, I know with my, my students from a while back, we have seen it before, so it's a time for us to review it, okay? Um, before we do that, or before I take you to my PPT, what did you understand? Did you understand anything between, like, what's the difference between a relative and, a, I mean, a non-defining relative clause and a defining relative clause? Anybody? Yeah, I just have one question. Yes, Alice. Is, uh, basically, I don't know what's the difference in between the usage for who and for that. Okay. All right. Like, okay. I don't have that that clear. clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. We're, I'm going to explain that on the PPT, but very good question, Ali. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'll make sure I'll answer it. Okay. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. I didn't really understand the difference exactly. Mm -hmm. The difference. Okay. Both. okay. Both. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Eric, why are you smiling? Me. What happened? Because I don't, I don't understand anything about <laughs> this topic. All right, okay, it's you're so honest. New for me. It's completely yes, new for you. I'm, I don't I'm think honest. so. Yes. You've probably seen it before. Really? You just forgot it. I don't know, somehow, maybe. All right, anybody else? The rest, if you're not saying anything, that means that you understand it perfectly well. Right, Elmer? Hi, Elmer. <laughs> I don't understand nothing about that. <laughs> also, all right, okay. Very yes. good. Yes. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Someone that understands a little bit? No, it was very difficult. Like Eric says, it's completely new or I don't know, but I don't, I don't understand here. <laughs> okay. Me neither. You know what happens sometimes, and I'm going to be very honest with you, sometimes when you're like given the name, the grammatical name behind it, then you get confused. All right, but somehow you have seen it before. And you know what's even worse? That you have used it before, but you don't really know how it's called or what the name, the proper name is, but you have seen it. I'm sure you have. Okay, so let's begin here. Let's begin by reminding or remembering what a relative pronoun is. What is a relative pronoun? We know that. I know we have studied that before. What's a relative pronoun, guys? You will get a hamster. ¿Qué pasa si Right, the todas las cabecitas. Uh -huh. Relative? Relative pronouns? What about, what yes, about he and his? No. That which? No. That Thank you. Which? Uh -huh, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. That which? which? Uh -huh. <laughs> what else? That which? Another one, Ale. You told me one. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Who, who, ma. Ya ve que empiezan a despertarse. Very good. Okay. So what? those. We have relative what? pronouns that we have used. What? Most of them, I mean, we have used them pretty much like all of them, but the ones that we're going to be using uh, tonight is who, which, and that, okay? Because we're talking about people, most of it, but also with things, and I'll explain it to you, okay? So we're going to see the difference between when do I use who, when do I That's use which, when do I use that? Why do I use those? All right, that's the main problem here. What, I, what is Jessica talking about? We have no idea what she's talking about. All right, so this is what I want to show you. Just give me a second here. Oops, not that, guys, just give me a second. What is it? It's right here. So this is the one, this is, PPT I'll be sharing with you tonight is this one. Okay. Whoops. No. Wait. No. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is it. Defining relative clauses versus non-defining relative clauses. To begin with, that's why I ask, tell me what a relative pronoun is, because that's why they are called relative clauses, because they derive or they come from a relative pronoun or we use a relative pronoun. So now we know that we can use which, that, or who, all right? So here we have it, guys. My goodness. Okay, let's see this one. Uh, Jose Ramos, I, this is, you're the first person I see. The hotel we stayed was good. 
which one are we going to use here? Where, which, or either could be used? What do you say? I think either can be used here. Okay, so tell me, can you tell me both sentences then using one where and the other one which? <clears throat> um, the hotel where we stayed was good. Okay. And the other word, the, the hotel which um, we stayed is what's good. Was good, all right. So for you, all like both are, are correct, okay? Yeah, is that what you told yeah. me? Okay, very good. Uh, Mario Vasquez, let's do number two. Uh, read it and tell me if you're going to use who, which, or either could be used, Mario. Uh, on the question two? That's right. The man, okay, let me, let me think a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'll use who. Okay, can you read it? Uh, yeah, the man who interviewed me seemed friendly enough. Okay, okay. So you would go with who instead of which, or both, right? Uh -huh. yeah. See, and both is correct. I'll, I'll use both. I mean, oh, you would use both, which, okay. Yeah, but which is more like, it makes more sense on that sentence. Basically. Okay, and more than who like then? That. Okay, yeah. all right, let's leave it there. Elmer, number three, the car. The car that was stolen belonged to my partner. Okay, so you go with that. Yeah. You will use that. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's leave it like that. Uh, let's see, after, my, after Elmer, I have Francisco. Hi, Francisco. Can you read question four or sentence four and tell us which relative pronoun you would use or if you would use both of them? Okay, the house that they have rent. Ted, is rented? In the, is in the center of town. Um, can be the house which they have rent Rented? is in the center of town. So you go with which? Yeah, can be that. I, I think it's that. Okay, you think it's that. All right, okay. No, okay. All right, so guys, here, uh, in all of these ones, either could be used, all right? And you're gonna see why later. I'm gonna explain this later to you, but just for you to know, either could be used in all of them, all right? Just hold it right there. Right now we're gonna see the rest of it, okay? And then I'll go back and I'll explain why those examples could be used with uh, both choices. Defining relative clauses, okay? So this gives us, what is a defining relative clause? Or the, what is a relative clause? Let's define it and it says, it gives us information about the first part of the sentence, which is needed. Mm -hmm. Something that you guys need to understand is that a relative clause is needed mm -hmm. on a sentence, okay? If you needed. don't have it, then it doesn't make complete sense, okay? So if you talk about relative clauses, you need to use in order to give information about what you're talking about, okay? so gives us relative clauses gives us information about the first part of the sentence which is needed to identify a person or thing they define exactly who or what we're talking about okay the second part it starts with a relative pronoun that's why i wanted to like make sure that you remember what is who what is which what is that whom whose and all of those it doesn't have commas. A relative clause of number one is needed. Number two doesn't use commas, okay? And you can use that instead of who or which or whose or where or when. That's why in this example that I showed you first, you had both choices could be correct, okay? Because in a relative clause, you can, okay. in, a rel in a relative clause, you can use who or that, which or that, where or that, when or that, whose or that. Okay, so that can be used for everything in a relative clause. Three things to remember, guys. Relative clause is needed. The relative clauses don't use commas. And you can use that instead of all the other relative pronouns. Okay, you understood? So far, so good. Guys, yes. so far so good, yes? Yes, yes. Well, yeah. yes. yeah. Okay, very yes. good. Now, 
what happens here is what it makes it a little bit complex, no complicated, complex is that you need to join two clauses or two sentences by using a relative pronoun. That's why it's important to know what the relative pronouns are, okay? Now, let's read the first sentence. It says, Brenda is a friend, okay? Like, that's a complete thought. Brenda is a friend. The next sentence says, I went on holiday with her, okay? So I have two sentences, what, or two clauses, two ideas. So what I wanna do now is I want to make these two sentences into a longer sentence, okay? Which is a little bit more, you know, f like, you know, like nicer because that's how you should speak in English, not like by sentences because it's too boring, okay? So I will join these two sentences using a relative pronoun, okay? So I say, Brenda is the friend or is a friend who, because it's a person, Brenda is a person, Brenda is a friend who I went on holiday with, okay? Do you see the difference between the first sentence here, Brenda is a friend, I went on holiday with her, with the second sentence that says Brenda is, a, is the friend or a friend who I went on holiday with. What happened on that sentence, guys? Tell me what happened. What do you see on that sentence? Tiene que ver algo. Algo ve ahí en ambas oraciones. The relative pronoun. The relative pronoun who? Yes, very the good. Join, the the join, join both. Both clauses or both mm -hmm. sentences. What else did you see, guys? The first example, two sentences are separated. Yes, to the, 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 in the first example, two sentences are separated because they are two complete ideas, I mean, two separate ideas. Uh-huh. What else? Is there something? The second, you yes? remove the, the hair. Excellent, the hair. David. very good. Okay, on the second sentence, I removed her. Look, let's go back to the first one. It says, Brenda is a friend. I went on holiday with her. Okay, on the second sentence, when I joined them, I said, Brenda is a, is a friend or the friend who I went on holiday with. The who is replacing the her. It wouldn't make sense if I say, Brenda is the friend who I went on holiday with her. Para eso ya puse who. Yes? So I don't, re I don't repeat myself, okay? And I omit the period. I don't have a period anymore. Okay, you see that, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes? Time. Yes. You're using defining, right? Defining pronoun. <coughs> I'm using the relative pronoun who. Who. All right. So I'm omitting oh, okay. it. I'm omitting the other one, right? So Brenda is a friend who I went on holiday with. Now, can I say Brenda is the friend that I went on holiday with? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, all right, yes. because it says here that on a relative clause, that can be used instead of who or which. This is a relative uh, clause using a relative pronoun, who, therefore, I can change to that. Yes, Alejandra, are you following me here, Ale? Yes. Okay, so I can use either or, Ale, and it will make perfect sense, okay? When do I use who? Whenever okay. you want to. When do I use that? Whenever you want to, as long, Ale, as it is a relative uh, clause. Okay? All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. A defining relative clause. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so I can yes. say in the, I'm sorry, I can say in the, in the last one, uh, I can say Brenda is the friend that I went on holiday with. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And if you ask me, Jessica, when do I use who and when, when do I use that? Whenever you want to. Si se le olvidó el who, use el that. All right, okay. y si se le olvidó el that, use el who. No. Yes? Okay? Example, okay. who wants to read the example? I need a girl to read the example. Uh-huh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> girl, girl, no girls today. Oh my goodness. I spoke to the man. Thank you. Uh-huh. Which men? What about the men? We need more detail. I. E. Example, what is example. IE? Example. example. Okay. <laughs> we require a defining relative clause. This give us detail gives, gives, about gives us? the gives us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gives us detail about the noun 
I spoke to the man who gave you the news. Who gave you? Who gave you the news. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, mm -hmm. thank you. Let's go back to the first sentence. It says, I spoke to the men. If I tell you guys, I spoke to the men, you're going to say, which, which men? men? What are you talking about, Jessica? I mean, there are many men in life, right? Which men are you talking about? What about the men? Si yo solo vengo y le digo, hey, Elizabeth, I spoke to the men. You say, ah, vaya. <laughs> all right, so, so we need more information about that men, all right? So that's what define, that's, that, that is what, I'm sorry, that is what a defining relative clause does. It gives more information, information that is needed for you to understand yeah, what Lisa, about the men. Dígame. Ese complemento mm -hmm. es el relative clause. Yes. Y se o le sea, llama, lo que necesitamos mm -hmm. saber adicional. Mm -hmm. Adicional y... Es, porque una cosa es adicional que no es necesario y una cosa es adicional necesario. O sea, siempre que sea adicional necesario va a ser un relative clause. Sí, y es como sé yo que es el relative clause porque empieza con un relative pronoun. Que en este Ajá. caso es who. ¿Ya? Ajá. Y aquí estamos diciendo que esta es, es um, ¿cómo se llama? Es defining. Sí, es defining Por... relative clause. Ok, bueno, yeah. vamos a ver entonces la diferencia en la... That's en la, right. Defining. En del non-defining. Non Exactamente. Pero vamos entendiendo hasta ahorita, por eso quiero lo, como lo dividí en dos partes, ¿verdad? Sí. El defining y el non-defining. Hasta ahorita, es que defining la vamos plataforma bien. La vi, perdón. La of plataforma course, la vi como cuatro veces y no la entendí. Ni claro, sí, si es que <risa> es difícil explicar todo ahí. All right, aquí nos tardamos una hora yo explicando, all right? <risa> ok. Eh, vamos bien hasta ahorita. Ok, Niñas, yes. Mario Cortés, yes. yes. Walter, yes. Alexia, Rocío, Celina, Flor, yes. Teacher. Yes. yes. Eh, entonces, es, según lo que acabo de entender, que dijo Elmer, eh, vamos a, a entender que es una relative clause cuando empiece con un relative pronoun, sí. dice, dice usted, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, uh -huh. estos son los que están aquí, which, which man, eh, o who o eso, ¿verdad? En el, en el, no, en el caso, esa, esas preguntas que están ahí, Ana, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. dice, I spoke to the men. La pregunta que le sigue es, ¿cuál hombre? Ajá. ¿Verdad? Porque usted, yo le digo a usted, Ana, I Necesito spoke to the men. Saber. Y usted no sabe de quién hombre le estoy hablando yo. Y me dice, ¿cuál Ajá. hombre, Jessica? El hombre que me dio la noticia. Ah, ya me acordé Ajá. de lo que ya me contó usted, ¿sí? Entonces, Ajá. esa pregunta okay. eh, nos ayuda para, para contestar o dar la información necesaria para identificar de qué hombre me refiero en este caso, ¿sí? Ok. All right. Entonces, por eso les decía yo, recapitulando, en el, en el Defining Relative Clause <risa> necesito información necesaria, ¿sí? Que me hable o que me defina del sujeto, en este caso del hombre. Entonces, Así necesito que... información necesaria sobre el noun, no ocupo coma, si se fijan, no hay ninguna coma abajo, uh -huh. en la última no hay ninguna coma, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ocupo un relative, o un relative pronoun, que en el caso puede ser who, puede ser that, puede ser which, puede ser where, puede ser when, whose y los demás que existen, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Guys? Okay. Yes? Ok. ¿Qué hacemos? Unimos dos oraciones, en este caso estamos tratando de unir two sentences, two clauses para hacer un defining relative clause. ¿Por qué se le llama relative clause? Porque ocupa un relative pronoun. Yes, guys. ¿Me siguen hasta ahí? ¿Vamos bien? Yes. Ok, mire que Mario dice yes, yes. y los demás. Yes, yes, yes. yes, thank you, thank you. Eric, ¿cómo va? Que usted dijo que nunca en la vida había visto esto. Fenómeno. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I'm understanding this. You're understanding right now, Mario Cortés. What about you? Que yeah. también dijo que nunca lo había visto. Qué barbaridad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I All right. right okay. Now. Walter. Thank you for the explanation. Yes. Okay. Let's continue here. Si no me entienden algo, me detienen y me hacen preguntas. Okay. Let's continue. Example two. I. I read yes. the letter. All right. Or I read the letter. You send me the which letter? All right. I need. We need mm. more detail. Y le digo yo, the one that arrived this morning. Okay. I read the letter, or I read the letter. The one that arrived this morning. 
Vamos, vamos aquí. Yeah, okay, very good. But, let's see that here. Did you know the student who or that came to the company yesterday? Okay, ahí puedo reemplazar el who por el that or vice versa. Ve al siguiente. The book which or that I'm reading is very nice. Si yo le digo a usted, nada más llego y le digo, Alexia, the book. Y usted me va a quedar viendo así como... Que... Which book? Okay, y yo le digo, that, 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 which I'm reading is very interesting. Okay, I give you more information. I can use which porque es un object, okay, or I can use that because it's an object also and it's a relative clause and I can use the relative pronoun because I can substitute that for which or for who or for where or for when, okay? Re reviewing everything, let's recap on defining relative clauses. Who is for, is people, for people, which is for animals and things. That, Alejandra, for Alejandra? Sorry, you were breaking up. Oh, I'm that sorry. Is for? Uh -huh. That is for? That is for um, or can be people used? And, and things. Right, so if they can, if that can replace who mm -hmm. and which, all right? Yes. Is that answering your question, Ale? Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, now all the relative pronouns, usted me pregunta, teacher, solo eso, I know, hay más. Who's, when, where, all right? Digamos que esos son los más usados, okay? So who's, when, where, who, and which, that, okay? So those are relative pronouns. Obviamente lo va a usar dependiendo de lo que está diciendo, ¿verdad? All right, so you say va Valentine's Day is when people give flowers. All right, so you use when because you're talking about months or days or dates, okay? So it depends on what you're talking about. Who's, does the woman whose son run over my cat? Okay. So we're using a relative pronoun whose, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to know, and we give information about who ran over my cat. I mean, whose son was it? It was the woman's, okay? So I'm giving more information here about that woman. All right? When and where, tell me when you expect to arrive, okay? The hotel where we stayed was excellent. Si yo solo le vengo y le digo, Herbert, the hotel. Y usted se me cae viendo que un que pasa por... What, what hotel? What are you talking about, Jessica? Where we stayed was excellent. Ah, yeah, it was very nice, all right? Or tell me, what? What do you want me to tell you? When you expect to arrive, I need to give you that information. Si no, yo me quedo corta en la información. Si? Yes, guys? Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Compare the two. Let's see. Alan, I want you to pay attention to these two, two um, sentences here. Alan is the student who is wearing, okay, a blue shirt or a blue, I don't know, sweater. Alan, who is Girl. not paying any attention no. in class, oh. como Elmer, <laughs> lives <laughs> in East, um, I don't know, Hamdiseya City, uh, in East uh, San Salvador, okay? Now, the first sentence, Mario Cortez, Alan is the student who is wearing blue. Defining relative clause, yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes. Dígame por qué. Because uh, who is the relative clause? Who is the relative oh, pronoun? Yeah. No. Ah, relative pronoun, yes. Yes, ajá. And Alan is the student who is wearing blue. Uh, I don't know. If it, but uh, I, only say, I only know that who is the relative pronoun. Okay, pero en la de abajo también dice who. Alan, who is not paying attention in class, lives in each hand. ¿Qué qué hace que yo pueda decir que la primera oración es una defining relative clause? A ver, todos tengo como 20 en línea. ¿Cuántos tengo? I, I think in uh -huh. the defining. I think okay. in the more general teacher, the, the second one. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Maybe. Uh, and the, uh, oh. the second, the, uh -huh. the information is optional. Because and, you okay. can say Alan lives in, in San Salvador. And All the right. sentence, uh, 
but who is not paying any attention in the class is, is optional. All right, okay, thank you, David. All right, so Alan is the student who is wearing blue. Okay, so going back to Mario, yes, Mario, you're using a relative pronoun who. So that gives you an idea that, okay, this is a relative clause somehow. Mm -hmm. Is it defining or not defining? Veámoslo aquí. Si yo solo lo llego y le digo, Mario, Alan is the student. Who is student? Which student? Oh, I think. Which it. student? Uh, Entonces yo le digo, who's wearing blue? Ese niño que me cae mal, no mentira. <laughs> Alan is the student who's wearing blue. Entonces usted dice, muchacho que está vistiendo de azul. Azul. Mm -hmm. All right. Si yo no um, le digo, who's wearing blue, usted se queda perdido. Which student? Mm -hmm. Jessica, hay 20. ¿Ya? Ahora. Okay. Entonces, eso, y no hay comas tampoco. Ok, entonces ahí tenemos, primero el relative pronoun who, segundo, who is he wearing blue is necessary information, number three, mm -hmm. no commas, ok, yes Mario? Yes. On the second sentence it says Alan, who is not paying any attention in class, lives in Nissan Salvador, mm -hmm. alright, now, mm -hmm. si yo quito, si se fija, fijémonos en varias cosas, una, hay comas, para empezar hay comas. Como al principio y como al final. Antes del relative pronoun, we have a coma. All right? And, after, and before the verb, we have another coma. Okay? So, yes, you're using también, you're also using a relative pronoun, who. But if I read the pink letter, the pink sentence, I say, Alan lives in East San Salvador. Make sense or not? Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, what is inside the commas, guys, is not necessary information. It's mm -hmm. optional, as David said. I can have it or I can omit it, and the sentence remains the same. The meaning is the same. Is the same. There's no uh, changing meaning, and you understand what I'm saying. If I say, Eric lives in... Where do you live, Eric? <laughs> I'm sorry. Eric lives in San Salvador, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Eric lives in San Salvador. Le digo yo, llego donde, donde Selina, le digo, Selina, Eric lives in San Salvador, y me decía ella, oh, really? Y él me entendió perfectamente. Ahora, yo le puedo decir, Eric, who's wearing a black cup, lives in San Salvador. La verdad, bueno, yo negra la veo de ti. So, Eric, who is wearing a black cup, lives in San Salvador. Entonces, esa información puede ser omitida o no. All right? Puede ser, me da, lo que hace es darme extra información. Hace más grande el chambre, ¿vale? ¿Ya? Yes? But it can be omitted. Yeah. Y el resto de la oración queda intacta. Okay. ¿Ya, yeah, guys? Yes? Ahí es para nada más darle yes. la ubicación exacta. Yes. Se de quién es <laughs> Ok, entonces vemos... Que la segunda oración, como decía David, is non-defining relative clause. Why? One, we have commas. Two, if you omit, si usted subtrae ese, ese bloque, la oración le queda igual y tiene sentido. Alan lives in East Ham. Perfect. Usted le agrega más para que se oiga más bonita la oración. Yes. Es, es, es como decir, una, es una oración que no define. Exacto, por eso se llama sí. non-defining non relative clauses. Yes, Natalie, very good. You got it. <laughs> All right, yes? Okay. Do these sentences have the same meaning? The passenger who came out of the bus went home. That's sentence number one. Léala, léala ahí detenidamente. The passengers. Y ahí hago pausa. Si se fija cuando, por eso es importante leer bien. All right, porque yo digo, the passengers, Coma. yeah, the passengers who came out of the bus went home. The passengers who came out of the bus went home. Las comas están ahí para hacer pausa. All right, yes. Entonces, si yo quito esa pausa, si yo quito yes. lo que está dentro de mis comas, ahora right, la oración es, fluye normalmente. Ahora, ¿tienen el mismo sentido ambas oraciones? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Yes, they have the, yes. the same meaning. Yeah. Okay. All right. ¿Y en cuál hay información que podría ser no necesaria? The second, the second, the second example. The second one? 
Yes. All right, okay. So, la podría dejar como the passengers went home. Yes. 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 Okay. So, on the other one, I'm just kind of giving more information about the passengers that were out, that came out and went home, right? I'm giving you more information about the passengers. Yes, on the other one, it can be mm -hmm. easily omitted, all right? Okay. Now, non-defining relative clauses, ya lo empezamos a ver, give, gives us extra information about a person, animal, or thing. The, relative, uh, the relatives go between commas, okay? Without this extra information, the sentence will still make complete sense. Eso ya lo vimos aquí. That's Yokito who came out of the bus, the passengers went home. Tiene sujeto, verbo y predicado, si lo quiere ver así, right? It has, it's a complete thought. It has everything that it's needed, okay? So the non-defining relative clauses, what they do is they give you extra information. They use commas at the beginning and like at the, I mean, before the relative pronoun, all right, and at the end of it, okay? Si usa un relative pronoun, si se fija aquí, Decimos who, who is a relative pronoun. Entonces, cuidado con eso porque en ambas eh, clauses ocupo un relative pronoun. Entonces, no me define el relative pronoun que sea defining o non-defining. Lo que me define es, es cómo está estructurado todo. ¿Sí me entienden mm -hmm. con eso? Yes, guys, you understand? Hello, yes. hello, yes, yes, no, no, so, so. It's okay. Okay. It's okay, teacher. Okay. Example, your brother who gave me the news saw the accident, okay? If I omit who gave me the news, y solo digo, your brother saw the accident, it still makes sense, okay? Yes, guys? Yes. Si se fija, I'm using who, I'm using commas, okay? And it gives me extra information that if I remove it, it still makes perfect sense, all right? Now... Which refers to the whole of the Ish. sentence before can be used to make a comment about the whole situation describing the main clause. The teacher arrived on time, which amazed everybody. They had everything ready for us, which was nice. Okay, I used the little bit on the phone. All right. What's the reason for using non-defining clauses? Usted me dice, entonces, ¿para qué es necesario esto, verdad? Para complicarles la vida, sí, pero aparte de eso, it says, she, uh, Sheila is a student. What can we do to make it more interesting? All right. In English, it's, well, not in English. I think in any language. But in this case, that we're learning English. Once you are at this level, you need to, like, spice it up a little bit. Okay? Yo puedo decir, uh, ¿qué puedo decir? Your brother saw the accident. He gave me the news. Entonces, estoy separando dos, estoy diciendo dos ideas, porque lo estoy aprendiendo. Your brother saw the accident. He gave me the news. ¿Qué quiero hacer para que me suene más native, para que me suene más fluido, para que me suene más bonito, más interesante? Es, your brother, who gave me the news, saw the accident. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, the idea here is to make it more interesting. Entonces, sí, esa parte de hacerle la vida un poquito más complicado es para sonar más, más intelligent, más interesting. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? ¿Yes, guys? ¿So, so? ¿Vamos bien? Yes, yes. Yes. Ok. Ok, very good. Non-defining relative clauses. Ojo con esto. We can't. In, in a non-defining relative clause, we cannot use that. In, rel in defining relative clauses, ¿se acuerda que dijimos? Yes, you can use that instead of who, instead of which, whose, where, when. But in a non-defining relative clause, we can't. We can't omit the relative pronouns, okay? So we need to use them. I liked Spider-Man, which I've seen recently. Yo no puedo decir... I like a Spider-Man that I've seen recently. I can't. Wish. All right. Mm -hmm. I found my keys, which I had been looking for. I need, I cannot say that. Or I cannot, I cannot use that. Okay. Let's see. Defining relative clauses. Eso va, necesito que le tomen foto a esto, por favor. 
Picture, guys, picture, pictures. Yes. Yeah, finished? Yeah. Yes, done. <laughs> okay, take a picture of this. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Not picture. Okay. Yes. Ready. Next picture. Got him, coach. What about this one? This is number three. So three screenshots, right? I don't know right now. This is number one. This is number two. Yes. This is number three. Oh. This is number four. Four. So would you repeat the number three, please? Yeah, this is number one, Natalie. Okay. Yeah. This is number two. Okay. This is number three. Okay, that one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is number mm -hmm. four. This is number five. Yes, my Charlie. This is the next one. Ya perdí el número. Otra. So read the number five, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one? Um, I don't think. I okay. get lost. This one? Next one, please. These are new. No, uh, no. The, the last one, one, the previous one. No, no, next one. The last, next is the following, pre pre the previous, previous one. Previews to this. Okay. This one, thank you. Hoy todo rápido quiere la teacher. Sorry. Qué barbaridad, teacher. No, el mercito, no sea así. Suavecito. Tráteme bien que ando migrando. <laughs> Vaya, ahora esta ya la tienen todos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I got lost. You got lost? Who got lost? Yeah. I lost the, the sequence. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. ¿Sabe qué vamos a hacer? A ver, this is number one. Yes? Yes. ¿Esta sí la tienen todos? <laughs> yes. This yes. one? Yeah? Yeah. This one? Yeah. This one? Yes? No. Yes. No, no. No, teacher. Yes. Ready now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? this one? Yes. 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 This one? Yes. 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 This one? Yes. Oh, no, 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 I don't have that. Um, I don't know. Natalie, finish? Yeah? Yeah, finish. Thank you. Okay, this one, guys? Yes. 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 This one? No. Mm -hmm. ahí, ahí vamos. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Ok, esa solo se la dejo ahí para que la vea, pero de esta no le tome fotos si no quiere. Igual voy a mandar la PPT as soon as we finish, so don't worry about it, ok? Ok. Ok, ok. Es igual, esa igual se la mando. Ok, so, what we're going to do now, vamos a ir a... Vamos a ir a los grupos, ok? Y trabaje en esos slides que tomó foto, ¿ya? Yeah? On those thank ones, you, that's what we're working on right now. Okay, guys, thank you.
-huh. you think the the this person have a more sister i think because more one. he he ex explained or he, he or, or he or she said who
All right, guys, everybody's with me now? Yes. Yeah? All right, let's see. Ale, can you list the differences or can you just tell me or tell us about defining relative clauses, what you have understood, Ale? For defining? Yes, for defining relative clauses only, uh-huh. All right, for defining relative clauses, I have understood three things. Mm -hmm. First, we can we need to have a uh, noun that it can be who or it can be which or a relative who's. pronoun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a relative pronoun and we can use as well that okay then we need to then the um relative clause is necessary mm -hmm. and then uh we need to use commas for the relative clause i mean we don't need to use commas okay like, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay all right, very good. Okay, very good. Ale, can you choose someone else to explain <clears throat> on defining relative clauses, please? Yes, Rocio. Uh huh, <laughs> Rocio. Very good. Uh, tell us, Rocio, the, I mean, what is non defining relative clauses for you? Uh, in this case, we use punctuation, like uh -huh. commas. Okay. And in that case, mm, the the sense of the of the sentences is not well. The 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 not the in what happened, time. Rocio? What happened? <laughs> it's late. Not that's what happened. Then not the the defining non-defining relative clauses. Non-defining relative clauses, they are not uh, mm, they are if you can you can omit this this information. This information. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Uh mm -hmm. you have to use commas, right guys? Remember that? Yes, yes. Fine. yes. All right, very good. Okay, yeah. anything else that you guys remember about non-defining relative clauses? El Mercito? Elmer, Elmer. My dear teacher. Yes, uh -huh. Something else uh, about non-defining relative clauses? Non-defining relative clause yes. uh, if, uh, is, is when you use commas. Uh -huh. And I can't use that. Excellent. You can't use that, and okay? You uh, put in the sentences uh, um, information uh, is not is not Necessary. defining the, the sentences. Right. That it doesn't define the subject. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. So here quickly before we go. And this, it says, my sister who lives in Pakistan is a doctor. So does he have one sister? He has more than one, guys. More than one. More, more than, than one. one. Because than he's, one. Be, uh, he's saying who lives in Pakistan, maybe the other ones, they don't live, in, like, they don't live there. They, don't li they live somewhere else, all right? Flat screen televisions, which are very expensive, have better picture quality, all right? So A B. or B? B. Is that right, guys? Es que dice son flat screen televisions are cheap. Ay, él me le faltaron tres letras. All right, so what do you guys say? B. I flat screen say televisions. A, 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 I think it's A, guys. Flat yes. te screen televisions in general, right? Mm -hmm. They are very expensive. Yeah. The athletes who tested positive for taking drugs were suspended. A or B? A. B. A. It's B, it's guys. B. The athletes who tested positive. That means that some of the uh, athletes. Yeah. Who? I mean, didn't didn't test yeah, positive on the on the drug it. test. All right. Yes. The teachers at this school who are late for class will be dismissed. B or C. B. Mm -hmm. B. 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 No. <laughs> because we have other classes, El Mercito. Miren la hora que es y yo sigo aquí con ustedes. No me regañen. 
The students <laughs> who had tickets went into the museum, uh huh? C or B? C. C. Some of the students had tickets C. and some did not. Okay, very good. And C. then the last C. one? It's the same it's one. The same yeah, it's the same. Yes. It's the same. All right, guys, very good. <laughs> so you guys are super, super good. You're so super smart. Yo sé que ya es super tarde. Eh, ¿Les quedó claro? Sí, hoy sí, más o menos. Díganme que sí. O todavía no. Sí, teacher. More than before. Sí. Sí. Por, okay, oh, that's muy buena good. la clase. All right, very good. All right. Eh, Mario Cortés que dijo que nunca había visto este volado. Ya, yeah, hoy sí. Mario yeah. Cortés, yeah. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Jessica. Right. <laughs> Eric, How do you say volado? Volado. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Any, anything. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, ya, hoy sí le quedó un poco más claro. Yeah, yeah, now it's easy. And yes. now you understand. I know it. the difference between uh, non-defining clauses and defining clauses. Excellent. All right. Voy a dormir tranquila. Qué emoción. Ya se me quitó la migraña. Excellent. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with me the third week. <laughs> Necesito que trabajen en la plataforma. Así es que lunes, así okay. uno por uno, a ver cómo van, ¿verdad? Pero ya tendrían mm, que estar okay. terminando todo. Okay. All right, guys, have a nice weekend. I'll see you Monday, all right? Mañana no hay clase, acuérdense, no vayan a estar porque yo no estaré. All right, okay. bye, guys. Have a good okay. night. Bye. 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 B